Ah, there it is. The closest thing I have to real Gran Turismo glory. The car that made me want to start a YouTube channel. I wish I could say I've made a ton of videos with it, but I kept getting distracted. The thing with me is sometimes the hardest part about finishing a project is not getting distracted by other projects. I decided to start this channel so I can document everything I'm gonna be doing to this car so I can get it ready for autocross. And around the same time that that happened, I ended up getting offered a car for 350 bucks. It's that 98 white Civic that I featured mostly on this channel. And what do you do at that point? What would you do? You, you get the car. And ever since then, it just seems like a string of excuses for why I'm not working on my baby. I probably could get the white car running. And of course you tell yourself, it just needs a little bit of work. I ended up torching off the nut, torching off, torching off. And then before you know it, like six months have gone by and I haven't done anything. Like just last week I was supposed to get started on this and I worked on an old 93 Geo that I had laying around instead. Look at how these lights turn on and off. You ever seen that before? Look at how this door opens. I couldn't figure it out. So all the while I'm working on these projects, looking at my baby under the cover, wondering when I'm gonna get back to work on it. And then something happens. I get a text from a friend telling me he's going to go to an autocross event on January 21st. And he asked me if I wanted to drive a Along with him and I said yes and I'm bringing my car text me like are you serious you think you can get it ready in time and I said you know what yes so I've got 30 days to put a bunch of parts on this car in order to get it ready for autocross every day I'll be recording as much as I can of this process and then uploading it throughout the month and there's a lot of parts that need to go on this car bigger calipers rotors brake pads master cylinder brake booster control arms Motor mounts, brake lines, front bearings, extended ball joints, proportioning valve, rear bearings, urethane bushings. Oh, and I need tires. Oh my goodness! Are you guys still watching? Hey, well, if you want more awesome Honda content, you should check out the cars and coffee meet from last week at Tony's Donut. K24 Javi did a great job covering it, and a bunch of cool cars came out. If you want even more awesome Honda content, you should check out the Honda meet coverage from Twan.25. I'll link that down in the description. Have a nice...